Hello, how you guys doing? Welcome to the Messy Sweet Spot. I'm your host, Miss Gigi. And when I tell you it is some more breaking news coming out and Joe has all the answers. Joe is putting it out there and he is stating that more celebrities will be arrested alongside Diddy. The names that they have in this video, I am shocked. I had no idea. I seen Will Smith in there. I seen some boxer dudes. I see some actors, some rappers, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and the list goes on and on, honey. When I tell you, this tunnel goes deep. Okay, so I want to share with you guys this video because it's a lot of things that the public don't know and you guys need to know what's going on out here. You guys need to know. So make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and comment, and thank you all for the support. Okay, so let's check out this video. I want you guys to check out with me. You know, oh, Jennifer Lopez is going to be there. Oh, Rick That's Ross is going to be there. Everyone's going to be there. It wasn't about Diddy. It was about if there were tapes of powerful people there. Yeah. I mean, he had a lot of people at those parties, right? The Diddy was running some kind of Epstein type deal where he was filming everybody. Prince Harry was hanging with Diddy. I mean, everybody hung with Diddy. Unseen footage of Joe Rogan discussing Diddy is making headlines, raising questions about the Hollywood actors linked to him. But what does this podcast reveal about the alleged illegal activities involving these actors? Stay with us as we delve into Rogan's revelations and the arrest warrants for Hollywood actors involved with Diddy. In one of the episodes of Joe Rogan's podcast, UFC fighter Israel Adesanya shared shocking connections between Diddy and Jeffrey Epstein. Adesanya compared the two cases, explaining that when Epstein was arrested, it exposed a network of powerful people involved in horrible crimes. However, many of these individuals were never punished, even though there was clear evidence like flight logs showing their involvement. Both Adesanya and Rogan expressed frustration over the lack of action against these actors. And then now this whole P. Diddy thing. Sometimes you have to Tell Diddy no. Oh man, <laughs> bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh Sean man. Sean Diddy Combs' alleged list of accomplices to be revealed soon. The names will shock you. Attorney says, "Whoa." I think he's gonna sing, eh? I think, I think he has to sing or he goes to jail for his life. As they continued, Rogan speculated that Diddy might reveal big names from Hollywood who attended his parties and participated in illegal activities. With serious allegations now surrounding Diddy, Rogan thinks the rapper might choose to expose others rather than face the consequences alone. Oh uh, yeah, we're having this party later on. Yeah, that's cool. All right, cool, cool. And then they start to like, you know, you find some chick, you pull on you and then boom. Oh, how was that 15 year old? I'm like, wait, what? Right, and yeah. you filmed. Yeah, I and heard then, about that. Yeah, yeah. he had again, apparent, allegedly yeah, cameras all, allegedly. all over the house. He pointed out that unlike Epstein, who took his secrets to the grave, Diddy could talk and reveal the dark side of Hollywood, finally bringing the truth to light. This isn't the first time Rogan has touched on Diddy's connection to Hollywood elites. A few months ago, in an episode with comedian Andrew Schultz, Rogan mentioned how these powerful celebrities were panicking as the FBI raided Diddy's house, worried that their names might be exposed. Interestingly, this conversation took place months before Diddy's recent arrest. Rogan and Schultz wondered if the raids were orchestrated by elites trying to protect themselves. Schultz suggested that some believe the raids were more about hiding evidence that could tie these high-profile individuals to Diddy. Now we will discuss some of the actors who were Diddy's friends and were often seen with him. This first actor co-hosted some of the parties with Diddy. Who is he? And what was his response after Diddy's arrest? Let's uncover the details about him. Ashton Kutcher is a well-known American actor who became famous for his role as Michael Kelso on that 70s show. Beyond acting, Kutcher has built a name for himself in the tech world, investing in companies and co-founding ventures. While his career started in entertainment, he's since expanded into business and technology. Kutcher's friendship with Diddy began in the early 2000s, largely through their shared experiences on MTV. Kutcher, the host of Punked, was known for pulling pranks on celebrities while Diddy was involved in music. According to Kutcher, their first encounter revolved around Diddy's strong disapproval of being pranked on the 
show, but instead of causing tension, it sparked a friendship. From there, they began spending time together, co-hosting events, and even collaborating on promotions for Diddy's vodka brand, Ciroc. Kuchar's connection to Diddy became more public in 2008, when they started hosting lavish parties together. We all know Diddy is known for throwing extravagant, star-studded parties, particularly in Los Angeles. One of his most famous events is the annual White Party, where guests must dress in all white. These parties have always attracted Hollywood's elite. Kuchar became a regular presence at these events, and over the years, photos of him partying with Diddy have gone viral. Following Diddy's arrest, rumors have started to swirl around Kuchar. Some reports suggest that his wife, actress Mila Kunis, has moved out of their home due to his connection with Diddy, though this hasn't been confirmed. There are also rumors that the couple is considering leaving Hollywood altogether and moving to Europe to distance themselves from the ongoing controversies surrounding Diddy. While Ashton's life is going downhill, the next actor has denied having any relationship with Diddy, even though he has been seen with him at many events. Let's explore more about him. Leonardo DiCaprio is a world-famous actor known for his powerful performances in biographical and period films. Over the years, he has earned multiple awards, including an Academy Award and three Golden Globe Awards. His films have grossed over $7 billion globally, making him one of Hollywood's highest paid actors. While his professional career is widely recognized, less is known about his connections with Diddy. It's unclear exactly when Leonardo and Diddy first met, but their friendship became noticeable when a photo surfaced from Diddy's wife party in 1998, showing the two enjoying champagne together. This event was one of Diddy's most famous annual parties, which ran from 1998 to 2009. Over the years, DiCaprio continued to appear at Diddy's social events. For example, in 2019, DiCaprio was seen dancing at Diddy's 50th birthday party, and the two have been photographed together on several occasions. Their connection wasn't just limited to parties, as they were both present at the Democratic National Convention in 2004, signaling a bond that went beyond the typical Hollywood social scene. In a 2018 interview, Diddy highlighted his friendship with DiCaprio, even naming him as the first guest invited to his infamous white parties. However, after Diddy's arrest, sources close to DiCaprio have suggested that the two haven't been in close contact for years. The last time they were spotted together was at Diddy's 50th birthday party in 2019, and since then, DiCaprio appears to have distanced himself from the rapper. According to insiders, DiCaprio had no involvement in the controversy surrounding Diddy, and he had only attended a few of Diddy's parties in the early 2000s, which were big house parties at the time. The sources also pointed out that DiCaprio has moved on from his party-going days, focusing instead on his career and personal life. Well, it seems like Bruce Willis is one of the celebrities who had a blast at Diddy's parties. Viral pictures show him enjoying the festivities and participating in inappropriate rituals at the events. Well, let's find out more about him. Bruce Willis is a well-known American actor famous for his roles in both television and film. He rose to fame in the 1980s with his leading role in the comedy drama series Moonlighting, which aired from 1985 to 1989. Willis then became an action star, best known for playing John McClane in the Die Hard movie series. Over his long career, he has appeared in more than a hundred films, making him one of Hollywood's most recognizable figures. Willis and Diddy share a friendship that has been highlighted through various social events, particularly at Diddy's extravagant parties. One notable event took place in 2003 when Diddy threw a party at his estate in East Hampton, Long Island. As a surprise for Bruce Willis, who arrived at the party around 3 a.m., Diddy ordered the women present to go topless. Reports indicated that those who chose not to participate were asked to leave, indicating how Diddy wanted to make this a memorable night for his friend. At the party, Willis jumped into a swimming pool filled with topless women, enjoying the lively scene. However, in 2004, photographs from a freak-off party showed Diddy having fun as well, including one where he was seen enjoying a chocolate-covered strawberry served by a woman on a platter surrounded by fruit. Willis, who was present at that party, has been criticized for its dehumanizing and exploitative treatment of women. The fact that Willis, a respected figure in the entertainment industry, was in attendance has raised questions about his involvement and knowledge of the events that took place. There was one more actor at the same party, and fans weren't expecting him to be in such gatherings. We are talking about none other than Will Smith. Let's explore his rocky relationship with Diddy, which has had many ups and downs.
Will Smith is a highly successful American actor, producer, and musician. He has received numerous accolades throughout his career, including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award, and a BAFTA Award. As of 2024, Smith's films have grossed over $9.3 billion worldwide, establishing him as one of Hollywood's most bankable stars. Will Smith and Diddy have shared a long-standing friendship that dates back to the late 1990s and early 2000s. They have been spotted together at various high-profile events, often attending the same parties and premieres. Their relationship blossomed during a time when both were rising stars in the entertainment industry. Diddy released his debut single in 1996, while Will followed with his own in 1997. Their careers intertwined as they both became influential figures in music and film. One notable event that showcased their friendship was in 2003, when they were photographed with boxing legend Muhammad Ali at a launch event for Ali's book. And this this moment highlighted their connection and the level of respect they held for each other. Five years later, in 2008, they attended the premiere of a Columbia Pictures film together, alongside Will's son Jaden Smith and Diddy's son Christian Combs. Moreover, Will was also seen at many Diddy's freak-off parties. However, their friendship has not been without its controversies. Gene Deal, a former member of Bad Boy Records' security team, shared a story about an incident involving Diddy and Will Smith. Deal recalled a time when Diddy believed that Will and his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, were making advances toward his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez. During this time, Diddy and Lopez were in a high-profile on-and-off relationship that lasted from 1999 until early 2001. According to Deal, Diddy became upset when he thought the Smiths were trying to hook up with Lopez. He reportedly threatened to punch Will Smith, feeling that he needed to protect his relationship with Lopez from what he perceived as unwanted advances. Diddy asked Deal to stay close to him for support, indicating how seriously he took the situation. Well, this actor considers Diddy to be his mentor and has tried to follow in his footsteps. As expected, he is also facing lawsuits of a similar nature to Diddy's. Russell Brand is a British actor and comedian known for his charismatic performances in films like Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Get Him to the Greek. The relationship between Diddy and Russell Brand began in 2010 when they worked together on the comedy film Get Him to the Greek. This movie also featured Jonah Hill, who has recently faced serious allegations from Alexa Nikolas, a star from Zoe 101. In Get Him to the Greek, Diddy plays a character named Sergio, a record label executive, while Russell plays a rock star managed by Jonah's character Aaron. One of the more troubling scenes in the film involves Diddy's character trafficking a woman to Jonah's character. In this scene, Sergio tells the woman that she must go and do something inappropriate with her own. Despite the unsettling nature of that scene, Russell later described his relationship with Diddy as one that evolved into a mentor-mentee dynamic. Diddy took on the role of a protector for Russell, even going so far as to take him on a forced holiday to Las Vegas. Russell depicted Diddy as a strong and intense person, someone whose influence made it hard to refuse requests. He expressed concern about being overly submissive to someone as powerful as Diddy, emphasizing his desire to maintain his independence and hard-earned reputation. Diddy, for his part, has spoken positively about Russell. He praised Russell's quick wit and clever style, indicating that keeping up with Russell's humor required a sharp mind. Russell was later seen at one of Diddy's renowned white parties, known for their extreme extravagant and exclusive nature. Interestingly, a lawsuit was filed against Russell by a woman who claims he mistreated her while they were working on the film Arthur, which was made in 2011. In her legal complaint, she describes feeling used by Russell during her time on set. The woman, who has chosen to remain anonymous, states that Russell exposed himself to her in front of other cast and crew members while they were filming in New York City. Later on the same day, she alleges that Russell entered the bathroom she was using and mistreated her while a member of the oh hold on i just gotta stop this stuff is so sickening sickening will smith getting put paws on by diddy diddy girl child sir man listen i just don't know what to say i am shocked bruce willis my goodness my goodness did you guys know all this was going on? I want to know, comment. Then they're talking about the pizza gate and all with the, you know, kids and stuff, honey. It seems like all of them was in on this, okay? All these elite celebrity people, 
All this big money, honey. Mm-mm-mm. Production crew stood guard outside the door. This situation made her feel like an object, saying that she felt as though Russell was using her for his own amusement. She pointed out the serious power imbalance that often exists in the film industry, especially between well-known actors and those who have smaller roles or are working as extras. According to her, this imbalance makes it difficult for people to speak up about bad behavior on set. Over the years, multiple women have accused him of inappropriate behavior, with some claims dating back as far as 20 years. We have all heard the phrase, a friend in need is a friend indeed. It seems like this next actor is Diddy's true friend, as he is denying any misconduct at Diddy's parties. Surprisingly, he has attended many of them. Let's know more about him. Marlon Wayans is an American actor and comedian best known for his work on the WB sitcom The Wayans Brothers, which he co-starred in with his brother Sean Wayans. Over the years, Marlon has built a successful career in comedy and film, appearing in movies like White Chicks and Scary Movie. Marlon has had a long-standing relationship with Diddy. In a conversation with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay, Marlon opened up about these high-profile gatherings. He acknowledged that he has attended many of Diddy's parties, but admitted that he often left early. Marlon clarified that he never personally witnessed any of the wild or scandalous behavior that others have described happening at these events. In the interview, Marlon mentioned that when he heard stories about what went on at Diddy's parties, he was surprised because he never experienced anything like that himself. After Diddy faced legal troubles and was arrested, some fans recalled an old tweet from Marlon in which he praised Diddy's parties. In the tweet, he expressed his enjoyment of the gatherings, saying they were always good times. Following the recent discussion, some fans accused Marlon of not being truthful about his experiences at Diddy's events. In response to this criticism, Marlon stood by his earlier comments, insisting that he has only ever had positive experiences at Diddy's parties. He emphasized that he has never seen anything inappropriate or out of line, maintaining that he only experienced good vibes during his time at these events. Marlon made it clear that he had no plans to remove his old tweets or change his story, stating confidently that he has nothing to hide. His comments and defense of Diddy during a challenging time reflect a desire to protect his friend. What's really happening with Diddy's legal troubles? In this video, we dive into fresh and exclusive details you won't find anywhere else. This isn't your typical Hollywood scandal recap. This is the inside story of how Sean Diddy Combs' upcoming trial could change everything for the industry. With new revelations surfacing about his connections and potential implications for some of the biggest names in the business, Sean Diddy Combs, one of the biggest names in the entertainment industry, is currently facing one of the most serious legal battles of his career. His case involves a multitude of allegations. And according to various reports, it has the potential to pull in other high-profile individuals if he takes the stand. Diddy's defense lawyer, Mark Agnifilo, has publicly stated that Diddy is eager to tell his story in court. Uh, I, I think he is very eager to tell his story. And I think he will tell every part of his story, including what you see on the videos. This eagerness could be a strategy to leverage his platform and expose others linked to the events in question, giving the impression that his testimony may have serious implications for more than just himself. The trial is significant not just for Diddy, but for the entire music industry, as it may set a precedent for how misconduct cases are prosecuted. With the ongoing media coverage, there is already speculation that this trial could expand beyond Diddy's own actions and bring other influential figures into the spotlight. Several lawyers have weighed in on Diddy's situation. For instance, Tony Busby, a prominent attorney involved in this case, suggested that Diddy's testimony could reveal more details about those who were allegedly complicit. Busby emphasized that the legal strategy isn't just about targeting individuals like Diddy, but could also encompass corporate entities such as hotels, banks, and others that may have had knowledge or involvement. We want to make sure that, that you know, if we name individuals uh, beyond Mr. Combs, that, that we make sure that we've done our homework because it's going to create a firestorm. We understand that. So these statements suggest that if Diddy is put on the stand, his testimony could open up further investigations that reach into other spheres of power and influence. The stakes for Diddy couldn't be higher. Facing a potential life sentence if convicted, the rapper's future and career are on the line. 
Another lawyer has stated that Diddy's case is being targeted by prosecutors looking for a high-profile win. See, people think, oh, somebody's out to get him. He pissed off the wrong person. It's the alcohol company that... Nah, you guys got to understand that there's prosecutors out there who want big cases. The legal team's stance is that these prosecutors are pushing aggressively for a conviction to make a name for themselves. Diddy's team has also claimed that they plan to challenge each piece of evidence brought forward, questioning its credibility and the motives behind its presentation. One of the central claims by Diddy's team is that, unlike other high-profile figures such as R. Kelly or Jeffrey Epstein, his case does not involve any minors, which they argue differentiates the accusation significantly. The defense is focused on portraying Diddy as someone who may have been part of a controversial lifestyle, but insists that no criminal activity took place. They aim to separate his image from past notorious figures and suggest that while his actions might be morally questionable, they do not amount to federal crimes. Will Diddy's decision to testify be a game changer that turns the tide of the trial or will it open Pandora's box for others involved? How much of Diddy's defense hinges on differentiating his case from previous scandals and can his legal team successfully distance him from these notorious figures? Sean Diddy Combs' legal issues extend beyond just his personal behavior. They ripple through the Hollywood elite. His close connections with major celebrities, including musicians and actors, raise questions about their awareness and involvement in his controversial activities. He's been seen with A-list musicians like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kanye West, Rihanna, Drake, and Mary J. Blige, highlighting his deep ties within the music industry. Russell Brand, Chris Brown, Lil Kim, Nicole Rishi, and Tommy Lee are just a few of the other big name guests. On the acting front, he's been photographed with Leonardo DiCaprio, Will Smith, Jamie Foxx, Cuba Gooding Jr., and even Kevin Hart at exclusive parties and red carpet events. His connections also extend to sports figures, including LeBron James and Floyd Mayweather, who have been regulars at his parties. Beyond music and film, Diddy's parties, such as his iconic white parties, have attracted a mix of reality stars like Kim Kardashian, fashion icons like Naomi Campbell, and even political figures like Al Sharpton. He's rubbed shoulders with everyone from Hollywood legends like Tom Cruise to modern pop icons like Justin Bieber and Jennifer Lopez. This extensive network shows just how deeply embedded Diddy is in the industry making his trial a potential turning point that could involve or implicate any number of these high-profile connections. Diddy's influence in Hollywood goes deep. Having collaborated with and mentored numerous artists, he's been a mainstay in the industry for decades. This has built a network of powerful friends and collaborators. Some of these relationships are being re-examined due to the current legal spotlight on him. Recent legal filings hint that some of his acquaintances may have been aware of or even complicit in the alleged inappropriate behavior at parties and events. Tony Busby, a leading lawyer representing many of Diddy's accusers, has explicitly stated his intention to hold not only Diddy accountable but also the celebrities who participated in these events or enabled his behavior. Busby mentioned that as more plaintiffs step forward, his team is exploring potential lawsuits against several of Diddy's high-profile friends. According to Busby, these individuals are household names. Law firm in the coming weeks, and he's already sent out demand letters, giving these celebs the chance to pony up a lot of money. Who may have indirectly benefited from these incidents or turned a blind eye. One notable instance involves photos from Diddy's yacht party featuring Cuba Gooding Jr., where they were seen engaging with guests. Legal analysts suggest that such appearances, captured and shared in lawsuits, could open the door to further questions about other celebrities' involvement. As more evidence, including videos and pictures, emerges from these elite gatherings, speculation grows that Diddy's trial could shift focus implicating those who were regularly present at his events. Meanwhile, other celebrities connected to Diddy are taking action to distance themselves. For instance, photos of Diddy were recently removed from Mel's Drive-In, a historic Hollywood diner. The establishment cited ongoing concerns regarding Diddy's reputation and stated that they couldn't ignore the public backlash any longer. This move signals a broader trend in Hollywood, where those who once aligned themselves with Diddy 
are now eager to avoid association. According to sources close to the case, some of Diddy's celebrity associates are discreetly settling with potential plaintiffs. By doing so, they aim to avoid being publicly named in lawsuits or trials that could damage their reputations. Busby claims that a few well-known figures have already paid settlements to keep their involvement under wraps, though their identities remain confidential for now. This pattern reflects how Hollywood's elite is maneuvering behind the scenes to protect themselves amidst the unfolding scandal. With Diddy's reach and influence, this trial could mark a historic shift, pulling back the curtain on the entertainment industry's darker side. How far will Diddy go in revealing the truth, and will he implicate his high-profile friends in an attempt to save himself? As the trial nears, how many other Hollywood figures will be dragged into the spotlight? And what will it mean for their careers? Sean Diddy Combs is his intention to hold Diddy accountable. The assaults. We asked Busby straight up if these upcoming lawsuits are just about people trying to cash in by claiming to be one of Diddy's alleged victims. And he Busby, known for taking on celebrity cases, stated that he would not only pursue Diddy, but also anyone in his circle who may have enabled the behavior. This includes other prominent figures in Hollywood and the music industry, indicating that the implications of these lawsuits might expand beyond Diddy alone. The number of lawsuits against Diddy has grown exponentially. Currently, Diddy faces a class action suit involving more than 120 plaintiffs. Legal experts describe this case as unprecedented, given its scope and the number of people coming forward. These individuals claim that Diddy exploited their desire to break into the music industry, using his influence to manipulate and control them. Some of the plaintiffs include young artists and producers who had direct interactions with Diddy, adding weight to the case and complicating his defense. The wall of silence has now been broken and victims are coming forward. A critical aspect of this class action lawsuit is the involvement of Diddy's inner circle including business associates and other celebrities. Wow. Wow. You guys, that was a lot. That was a lot to take in. I had no idea all these celebrities was in on this. I had no idea they were going to these shows and these parties. Ashton, Willis, Will, you know, the Prince, honey, comment. I want to know what you guys think about this. And I'll see you guys on another video. Bye.